I've grown throughout high school, sexual assault has come up more and more. I used to never hear about it or even care about it, but now it seems like I see it more on the news and social media. A case that happened in my family that I never even knew about was that a close member to us actually has been sexually harassed. He uh, says that he was going to a party at Xavier University. He admits that he was drinking all day and he may have drank too much that night, but what happened was totally uncalled for. He said when he got to the party, he said they were having fun like everybody else would. Having drinks, yelling, partying, dancing, whatever you want to do. And as it goes on, this girl was stalking his group of friends. He said at the end of the night, he said he was starting to black out. He was in and out of it, and he said, and all of a sudden, he said he woke up the next morning at some girl's house. Had no idea where he was, he ended up getting out of there. He called his friend, not ever knowing where he was, and his friend came and picked him up. To this day, he says he still feels like he's been sexually harassed. He said that it's bothered him to this day, and that he just doesn't feel the same. Sexual assault is not only a physical problem, but it's more mental, as it destroys people's state of mind. Even though we've heard about sexual assault cases, we still consider it not a problem, almost like a burden to our daily lives, how people lie and tell us like they're not true. Sexual assault isn't a real problem. The way people put themselves in these situations and lie about these incidents think, make them think that they actually were in a problem. But the definition of sexual assault is any type of contact or behavior that occurs while without the explicit consent of the recipient. The emotional, problem, the emotional problem is that people get afraid and paranoid and then they don't, they shot off people that are here to help them and then that's the reason they don't go to the police because they feel afraid, they're not, they're not their selves. Um, sexual assault is a preventable thing, it's just understanding your surroundings as don't put yourself in a bad situation to begin with. But rape victims don't choose to get raped. It just happens. Therefore, they are obligated to anyone but themselves and their own healing. One of the reasons rapes is such a traumatic experience for a lot of people is that it is a profound and violent loss of control over one's own body and agency. Sexual assault is a real problem. It is not something that is preventable and it's not something that can just brush it off like it didn't happen. But a sexual assault victim behaviors are not the same as they are before the, before the incident. They may push off people that care about them, become unemotional, create inappropriate jokes, and even just go back to the person that actually assaulted them because they feel like they have no power anymore. They think that their life is controlled by someone who assaulted them. Many sexual assault victims are assaulted while unconscious or semi-conscious. This can happen for many different reasons, from getting drugged to drinking too much, anything that involves kind of partying. That's what people think. But others are actually get frozen in terror as to they don't want this to happen to them. They don't know what to do. And as there are, there are cases where people do get forced and harassed into it, the most common one is people actually get frozen in terror. They don't know what to do in this situation. But um, sexual assault is more of an emotional violence than it is physical violence as it really does destroy people's state of mind and their thinking throughout their lives. It's caused people to end lives and even just ruin their whole life in general. Common mental effects of sexual assault is PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, depression making them feel hopelessness, and dissociation, which is usually referred to someone who has checked out or not fully present what is going on. People around the nation have, need, to realize this, need to realize that sexual assault is a problem and that has been here for many years. Sexual assault affects someone not only physically but mentally as their lives are not the same as before. Sexual assault is not preventable, but there is precautions we can do to, re to reduce the activity of, activity of it. Sexual assault is a problem as it, is, as it has ruined lives. Sexual assault is a problem. 11.2% of students report of being in some, court, in some sort of sexual assault while at school. But 60% after they get out said they actually were sexually assaulted. 
this has affected me and my family in a way that I never even would have knew if I had never done this speech. You may be amazed by how many people have been affected by this issue. So why not join the movement that so many people are already on? Because you never know. You could have yourself in this situation one day. Thank you. Um, no, he said he was just more like, it's kind of like more embarrassing, he said, like, that it actually happened to him. Yeah. So, a lot of times when people say they're sexually assaulted, they, like, get told that they're just, like, looking for attention and lies and stuff like that. Do you think this is why so many people don't report it? Yeah, because they don't want to be the person that thinks they're, like, the spotlight of them. Like, they don't want to get so much attention brought towards them. But... Usually people that don't report it are the ones that are more like terrified that it might happen again. Yeah. Do you think that criminals who rape people before they kill them are using that just to mentally break them down before they get into their lives? Um, I don't know about that, really. I mean, I would say it probably has something to do with it, but I was wondering. I would say probably. Yeah. So do you think that it's our culture that's causing this issue because the um, what you have your punishment after you've been charged or convicted for this it's not as severe as it needs to be so then people go out and think that they can do it and get away with it do you think that's because of our culture that we have created that yeah I think it's more of us I mean it's happened before our time too but now it's kind of just going out of hand like getting out of hand like People are taking advantage of how it's not so severe in punishment wise. Yeah. So you have people or family member reports it? No, he did not report this. He's told our family about it, but he's never reported it. All right.